also following for you the 4th District Congressional race. On the GOP side, William Timmons faced off against Lee Bright. Our Ann Maxwell is joining us from the Timmons camp tonight after he won the nomination. So, Ann, what's the reaction like there? Is, are there any people still left there celebrating? Absolutely, Amy. There's a lot of energy still here at Timmons Watch Party tonight. More than 100 people came out to watch the results come in, and now they're celebrating. We're here in downtown Greenville. He has beaten opponent Lee Bright, and this was a very crowded Republican field even before the runoff with 13 candidates. Timmons said Bright called him and offered to help him going forward. He says it's going to be a fight in Washington. Now, Timmons is a Greenville native. He is an attorney and businessman. He has lots of support locally. He's also taken out a loan of $500. $140,000 to finance his campaign. And tonight in his speech, he thanked his family and his supporters for their support and everything they've done for him to get here. You know, we're excited. We have worked so hard to get to this point, and we're just honored and, um, I mean, humbled to get to go to the general election and hopefully serve in Washington next year. And Timmons serves in the state house. Timmons serves in the state house of representatives. Uh, so we're not quite. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with his seat going forward. But that is something we will be keeping an eye on. Reporting live in Greenville, and Maxwell, Seven News. And thank you. About two and a half hours after the polls closed, Lee Bright conceded to William Timmons. Bright addressed the crowd to, uh, uh, to wave to supporters and told the people he was thankful for their support in the race and the runoff. He then wished his opponent luck in the general election and said he's ready to get back to spending time with his family. The, the fact that this one election didn't work out doesn't mean that you guys didn't do all you could do. I mean, I'm just, my heart breaks the fact that we couldn't, that I couldn't pull this through, but you guys just did all you could. And, Bright was a state senator for eight years before losing to Scott Talley in the GOP primary in 2016.